what motivated you to be involved in the development of Adaptable? Um, nowadays, it's always an issue to have enough personal in the OR. So we are faced with the problem that we are get uh, out of human resources and therefore we need something else. And the adaptable arm can be a solution for that because it uh, can substitute uh, assistant and uh, help you during the OR. And therefore I think it's a very um, good project and good development to have this arm available. And in what ways is adaptable pioneering and unique? Uh, so by the simplicity of Adaptable, which is it's simple to use, it's easy to adapt on our OR table, it uh, pretty uh, fits into all OR systems, you don't have to uh, have extra uh, ordinary things to use it, it's comparable cheap to other uh, tables which are available for total hip arthroplasty, like we all know the extension tables, I think there are a lot of arguments to use the adaptable arm. And could you please uh, tell us what is needed for a successful start with adaptable? So first of all I would recommend to try it in a non-operative setup, just like we do it now, just use it, feel comfortable with it, then the next step is uh, visit somebody who uses it in daily practice. Um, scrub in with the surgeon, uh, look how he, how he or she uses it during the surgery and then ask the surgeon um, to come to your OR and introduce it into your setup as well. I think that's the most successful way to use the adaptable into your daily clinical routine. So does it require a lot of training or a change of working method, OP technique? No, definitely not. So it's very simple to use the adaptable arm and it doesn't, um, there's no need for special training. But um, like every other thing what we use in OR, there are special tips and tricks and it's always uh, good to learn these special tips and tricks from an experienced surgeon who is experienced with the adaptable arm. Thank you. Uh, what distinguishes Adaptable from other positioning devices? I think it's very easy to use. It can be uh, placed on any OR table what we have in our daily clinical routine in our operation room and therefore it fits into every OR system. Uh, Professor Tana, last question. Uh, what are the limitations of the device? Um, to be honest, the limitations are like every instrument on, on what we use in OR, there are some limitations definitely. But for clinical routines, for standard surgeries like total hip arthroplasty, it's definitely um, no special uh, limitation for it available until now. Professor Mulder, <coughs> what motivated you to be involved in the development of Adaptable? Well, we, we had the idea uh, when we were doing the direct anterior approach and the method we did it in Innsbruck over more than 20 years now was on a standard OR table without any traction devices like others do. Over time we found that it would be helpful uh, to have a device that holds the leg but we wanted to avoid uh, the uh, downsizes of the current uh, traction system like the traction table, like the matter table or uh, other tables. We wanted to have the surgeon in full control of the leg and the holding device. We wanted uh, the holding device to be detachable from the leg so we can do a, a full range of motion test at the end of the surgery and we also wanted to have access to the malleoli in order to measure leg length uh, and uh, during the surgery. So we wanted to have an on-table device under the full control of the surgeon uh, to have the leg in any uh, part of the surgery in the desired position. And this is how uh, the adaptable came into the world uh, as a support for the AA. Of course, over the time, uh, additionally, we found out that it is replacing personnel, which is becoming more and more uh, important, specifically after the pandemic. And of course, it can be used for other surgeries like knee arthroplasty or any other type of hip surgery. But the essence, the principal idea was around the DEA and the need of uh, a device that holds the leg, doesn't crank out the femur proximally, but holds the device firmly in the position that the surgeons it's urgent desired. What is the uniqueness of the adaptable? Well, as I said, what we wanted 
we also achieved it. We have a device now that is on the table. It is sterilely trapped. So I, as a surgeon, control the force that is brought to the leg. I control any position. I can detach it at any time. So I think this is really unique that you have a surgical tool for the surgeon. You don't need extra personnel to run it. You save on personnel because you can get rid of one or two assistants, especially when you use the adaptable, not only for holding the leg, but also holding for retractors for instruments. You can basically do a hip arthroplasty uh, almost alone or alone depending on the, on the setting that you have. But uh, th th this I think is, is, is the most unique thing uh, of, of the button that you push and it becomes flexible. And as soon as you release that button, uh, the arm becomes very stiff and sturdy again and holds uh, even a heavy leg in a very precise position. In combination with a table that allows you to lower the leg parts, to hyperextend uh, the legs and the hip, uh, you get the perfect exposure of the proximal femur for the direct anterior approach. Could one successfully start with adaptable? Does it require any training or change of working method? Well, I think the good thing about it is it's not rocket science. It's an arm and the arm is attached uh, to the leg sterilely and it has one button that you uh, have to push in order to get it released and the same button when you release it holds the uh, device uh, firmly. So I do not think there is a lot of training necessary, although of course you have to exercise it a little bit before surgery, you have to discuss the setup with your team to make sure that everybody understands the placement of the leg, that everybody understands the, the, the draping and uh, the connection between the uh, sterile parts of it, the, the, the frame that holds the leg and the unsterile and sterilely draped uh, part of the arm, but beyond that I think it's pretty uh, a pretty seamless brought into any procedure and any type of, of, of uh, surgical uh, uh, method that you use uh, and, and it, it's easy to use. Uh, I think that that's really something that uh, was in the mind of us when we started developing it. What distinguishes adaptable from other positioning devices on the market? Well the most important thing is you can keep it in the hands of the surgeon and I am responsible for the bones that the patients have and uh, uh, have it putting too much uh, force on the bones, especially when you have retractors placed around the bone, creates always a risk of fractures, nerve lesions, muscle lesions and by controlling that force, feeling exactly the force that, that, that I apply to a leg or to any limb, it, I'm in, in full control of it. I do not like to have anybody outside my surgical field doing anything to the body of the patient. This is the uniqueness of the system. It's an on-table sterile uh, uh, the device that's under the full control of the surgeon. Name the limitations of the device? No, I cannot. Well, it can't cook coffee. That, that's the only thing. Otherwise, you can really use it for any kind of limb surgery. It has the adapters for, for the knee and for the hip. It has adapters to hold uh, the um, uh, retractors if you want. So, for an arm that is designed to hold something, uh, it does what it is designed for and has therefore no limitations with regard to that. Okay, no coffee, of course.